I'm going to read a little review I wrote of a, um, a movie that stars Barbara Payton because I am a Barbara Payton fan and I've put other things about her on this channel. And the review is on the Internet Movie Database and it's titled Trapped is Dark Indeed. Trapped has the darkness of both cinematography and spirit that distinguishes film noir. A story of thieves and counterfeiters and undercover cops, it grabs attention and holds it until the surprising and violent end. The script is tight and believable. One of the best things the film has going for it is that it was the first large role for the very talented but tragically doomed Barbara Payton. And trapped, she is the girlfriend of counterfeiter thief Tris Stewart. Uh, who is played by Lloyd Bridges. The character Peyton plays is Meg Dixon, who calls herself Lori Fredericks. Unlike the typical film noir femme fatale, the strikingly beautiful blonde is not so much nasty and cold-blooded as foolishly devoted to her criminal boyfriend. She adopts a criminal lifestyle out of love for him. Played by the handsome Lloyd Bridges, Trish Stewart is an utterly amoral psychopath motivated by sheer greed, along with his own love for Meg Laurie. Perhaps the only weak link in the film is John Hoyt as undercover cop John Downey. We should sympathize with Downey as the chief representative of the law, but Hoyt's character appears so cold and calculating that he does not seem much better than the crooks he is trying to catch. However, this is a minor flaw and a fine film.